Hello, it is September box night, right? September already, it's crazy. September 15th, so um, we are doing our fall wheelbarrow tonight. Let me know if you're here, let me know if you're painting. And um, this is a big one, so I only have this piece in the frame. And I'm a hot mess anyways, because I'm a one woman show this week, so I'm crazy busy. <laughs> And I have not even brushed my hair. <laughs> so let me know if you're here. I did not remind y'all, so I'm sure some of you probably forgot um, that it's the 15th. But I think what we'll do today is go ahead and paint the insert. And um, I kind of show you how to do the wagon. I don't think we'll have time to do the wagon and the insert. So we will get what we can done. Let me make sure everything's working here. Say hi if you're here. Um, hey, Mariki, how are you? You painting tonight? Yay, you get to paint. That's exciting. Awesome. Um, so, yeah, we're going to try the um, doing the insert. Like I said, I think I'll just have to tell you how to do the wagon. I'm not sure we'll have time to paint everything because this is a lot. Um, since it's the yard decor, it's extra large, so, um, I guess I'll just start, like, the base here. You can just paint these two pieces, whatever you want. I didn't even worry about this middle, um, because it's going to be covered. Anyways, we're going to line this up and glue it. <clears throat> so, um, I won't be painting another one of these. So, you could do it in black or brown or white or whatever you want to do for that. I'm just going to get it out of my way here. Oh, she's in drama club. That's so fun. Are they doing a play right now? How, how old is she? Is she in middle school? Hey, Barbie. Well, that works. Just hang out with us for a while. All right, so I'm going to start on the insert, like I said. This right here, I did not paint, and you probably noticed that these are actually set up to be interchangeable. Um, I will try to get interchangeables loaded to the website, but as you can see, I'm still trying to get interchangeables loaded for your key holder. <laughs> um, like I said, I'm a one-woman show here lately, so um, painting is hard to come by. I'm trying, though. All right, so let's work on this. Let me get my blank one out. Okay. Oh, they just started school, didn't they? I think they're, um, y'all start back later than we do, I'm pretty sure. All right, so you have lots of little pieces to these pumpkins. This is, um, how it's all laid out. So, they all fit together like a puzzle piece, right? So, you have three layers. We're going to just go ahead, if you want to line those up just to see how they fit on your board, that's going to help you figure out what colors to paint what. Sixth grade. Oh, it's seems like so long ago for us <sighs> goes by so fast all right and then these pieces make a third layer like that so it just kind of brings it out makes it 3d and then you have all your little leaves so we'll just spread these out like that hey Tracy yeah we're just getting started so you're right on time how are you doing all right, so I just like to lay everything out so I know what I'm working with, and then I'm going to go ahead and move these, and I just, I'm just going to keep them kind of below where they fit so I know what color goes with what. I have to stay organized because I'm already a, a mess. So <laughs> the easier I make it on myself, the better for all of us. <laughs> all right, so let's just start with that. Um <clears throat> Basically what I did with the colors was start with the, kind of the same base orange and then I, um, oh my machine just started up, fun. And then I added white and I added reds. So I just added different colors to make it a little bit, um, to make some variation. Can y'all still hear me? I forgot I still have that machine on. All right, so I'm gonna get some red, just a little bit of red. Hey, Laura, how are you? You on camping this weekend? Oh, yeah, lots of fall kits, Tracy. 
lots of holiday kits. I, I say this every year and it's true every year. I have such a hard time with kits this, this time of year because I love fall and Christmas and I want to do all the things. So <laughs> especially when I'm planning these boxes, I'll sit down and think about it forever and then I'll get up and think about it another day. I can't ever just like focus on what the theme's going to be and what the um, kits are going to be because it's so hard to pick just, you know, one or two projects. All right, I'm getting red, orange, um, brown, and white, which actually I think I grabbed an antique white. It should be fine though. Uh, hey, Teresa, you painting tonight? Okay, good. My machine is really loud in my ear, so I wasn't sure if that, if that translated over to y'all. General Butler Park, okay. How fun. I am. I'm not a camping girl. I don't know if I could be or not. I don't. Definitely, I'm not a tent person. Now, you get me, you know, a fancy little camper, I could probably do it. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to start. So, what I did is rotate. I did like white on the end and one in the middle and then different color oranges here. So, we'll just start with one. We just want to get a base coat on everything. Actually, that's going to be covered up, so I don't need to paint that. What I need to paint is this. So, this is going to be on top of that middle section right there. So, I'm going to paint this piece because it's that's what's going to be seen. And then, we'll paint the other parts there. Teresa, did you get your porch cleaner pieces yet? Hopefully they fit. I, I, I swore I had adjusted it right and then I cut it and it was way too big. And I was like, oh my goodness. So I cut it again and I think it it should be right. I tested it on mine. I don't know what I was thinking the first time. All right, so now I'm going back over here and doing these side pieces. If y'all seen the weather lately, if you're local, what we were looking at it earlier, it's going to be like 90 degrees all next week. And I'm like, no, I'm ready for fall. Where are, where is my fall weather? I've been painting Christmas and fall for months. I'm ready for the, <laughs> for the weather to match it. It's hot. It's going to be hot. All right. This little piece right here is going to be sticking out. I'm not worrying too much about the lines because we're layering this and all that's going to be covered up anyway. So I'm going to make a mess of it at the, in the bottom. <laughs> Hey, Marie, Chick-fil-A is my favorite. Um, our, so the closest Chick-fil-A to me is still pretty far. It's like 25, 30 minutes. And they've been remodeling um, for months. So I've had no Chick-fil-A until earlier this week. I happened to be up there for something else. And I noticed they were open. And I can't even tell you how excited I was. It's ridiculous how obsessed I am with Chick-fil-A. I've gone through major withdrawals. <laughs> uh, oh, good, Teresa. I'm, I'm glad. Yeah, well, faux fall needs to last longer because I enjoyed that. All right, again, we don't have to worry so much about the middle. If you paint it, fine. If you don't, that's fine, too. I am coming down a little bit lower here um, just because I noticed when I put this in my wheelbarrow, I had some un... Um, painted pieces so I'm gonna bring it down a little lower and I may actually paint this bottom part brown which I didn't do on the example but you can see that even when it goes into the wheelbarrow so I'm gonna go ahead and and paint a little further Oh, you know, when we were sitting in the drive there, I saw the sign for the Autumn Shake and made a comment about it. And then I was like, I really probably don't need it. I kind of want it, but I better not. So it was like an inner battle and I ended up, um, I ended up actually not getting one, but I'm sure I will. What does it taste like? Is it like spice, kind of like cinnamon or something? I didn't even ask what it was like. Oh, yay, Teresa. Yeah, we've sent, yeah, we sent out a ton of stuff yesterday. So, hopefully lots of packages will be arriving. <laughs> you know what I just, what did I just do? Let me see here. 
so that goes there and I think I didn't even need to paint that yep I'm talking and not paying attention this is actually going to be covering that let's try that again <clears throat> all right so I'm going to just paint these pieces that are going to show instead of wasting time on the bottom layers I'm going to go back and do these brown so I'm not painting the stems oh that sounds good <clears throat> Yeah, I love snickerdoodles, so I will be all about the autumn shake. I guess it's a good thing it's 25 minutes away from me, right? My, um, my latest, is my summer obsession was the coffee shop that my daughter works at, which is not too far from my house. They have the most amazing fruit smoothies, and I've been there way more than I care to admit to get a peach smoothie because peach is my favorite in fact chick even chick-fil-a like the peach um milkshake is normally my go-to i love it so i'll have to try the autumn autumn shake one now that it's back open i'm so excited yeah they really needed to remodel because it was a traffic nightmare up there and it was very it was much much smoother Pumpkins are my favorite thing to paint, by the way. I love painting pumpkins. So what have y'all been up to? Tell me something good. I can't believe it's the 15th of September already. That just really blows my mind. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, oh, I guess we won't need to paint this one. So that one, paint and then these okay I'm gonna line them up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my base orange I'm gonna do one of the pumpkins with this base orange it doesn't really matter which one and I don't even think this is the same orange that you have it might be but um, I'm just gonna paint this the light colored orange and we're just doing base colors we'll go back and do some shading and color adding here in a, in a bit A Santa gathering what does that mean you mean at the campsite is Santa gonna be there oh <laughs> yeah you look like you're really busy this weekend Teresa getting all them summer kits done that's good though I think a weekend just crafting sounds amazing I keep saying one day I'm gonna um do some kind of crafting retreats has anyone ever been to one of those like a weekend retreat where you just craft or scrapbook or do something like that all weekend I've heard of them but I've never been to one I think it would be nice I mean I do this stuff all the time but it's <clears throat> normally you know for for the business and for work sometimes it's nice just to do for fun well that's interesting I wouldn't think about um, there being a, a Santa gathering in September oh it's like a Santa training that's cool so y'all are y'all going for the Santa weekend or do you have a Santa in your family <laughs> Yeah, I think it'd be so fun. So you've been to the scrapbook ones, Marie? I thought those were really popular there for a while. I was late on the scrapbook bandwagon. I didn't get into it until after, you know, the craze was kind of gone. Um, but I guess they still have them. I, I did, I got into scrapbooking there for a while. Um, just for my family, like my family. I'm dipping a little bit of red. I'm gonna try to create a bit of a darker color here with my orange so just a little red in with the orange to get it a variation of color so that's my original this is going to be my second pumpkin here and I'm just going to do the outside parts 
that are going to show. Just want it to look different than the original. Um, but I did it. I did it for several years, and then I just it was so time consuming. I ended up just I just kind of stopped. I put one down one day and just never picked it back up. So it's like half finished. <clears throat> Uh, four that's so fun learn something new every day had no idea we had Santa and Mrs. Claus in our group that's really cool so do y'all do um do y'all go to like different places in the Christmas season and like you know sit with kids and all that Okay, you know I've never been to Light of Horden. I, I know you're local and I know what that is, but I've never actually been. I, I should probably be ashamed that, my, that I've never taken my kids to that. All right, I'm just continuing to add a little bit of red in with my orange to kind of get that deeper color there. Oh, Marie, you had Grandpa that was Santa. Oh, Kmore, that's something I haven't heard of in a long time. I know we, they closed all the Kmarts around here. I guess there's still some somewhere. I don't know. Or maybe they all closed. Honestly, I haven't thought about that in a long time. Oh, that's so fun. I love that, Laura. I'd be a little hot right now. I'd be dressing up as Santa. <laughs> I should come this year. Yeah, I should I should put that on the calendar and make sure I'm free. Alright, so that one's a little darker. And then we can add even more red. I got a little orange on this, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to be mixing all the colors anyway. So, Alright, I'm going to do a little bit of a, of a, a darker orange. So, more red. Oops, getting some brown in there too, but. So that's all I did to get that variation because we didn't put, you know, three different oranges in the kit. So just, and you could also, um, instead of doing darker with each of them, you could add your white and go a little lighter. In fact, that's probably what I did on the example. I just didn't think about it today. So. Um, so many different oranges that you can make with the colors you have. <laughs> I was going to say, I hope everybody's not putting on the, the, the hot beard and the red suit. Definitely not the season to be burning up in that. <laughs> when is light up cordon, do you know? I'm ready. I'm ready for the holidays. Just talking about them gets me so excited. We need some excitement in our lives this year. It's really been one thing after another and still is, so. All right, so we have base coats on everything. All of this stuff is gonna be covered up, so everything that's gonna be visible has a coat on it. So see, this is where I said um, I forgot to paint these before, and now I'm gonna, it's gonna be messed up and they show so I'm gonna go back and get a little bit of the um, middle color and go back and and paint underneath here because I'm a little bit OCD when it comes to seeing these unpainted pieces under my wheelbarrow all right so that'll be covered um, and then I'll probably do some brown through here Saturday after Thanksgiving okay I'm gonna put that on my calendar tonight. I've, I've only lived here 20 years, right? There's no reason why, <laughs> why I should have been, you know. The flies are driving me crazy right now. They're um, always in my face. I don't know if it's the weather or the season or what, but they make me insane. 
Okay, so obviously this is going to need another coat. That one coat of white didn't do the trick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up a little bit of brown with my white this second round. Um, so, and I'm going to brush some of that brown color in, but just very lightly. So let me go ahead and get some more of my white. I'm out of my little um, dollar store sheets that I like to put my paint on. And I've been using scrap cardboard, but I need to make a trip to the Dollar Tree. Because those little, um, those little art, those paint papers, it's like a pad of slick paper. I think I've told you about it before. I love those things. And I go through them like crazy. Oh, hey, Jen. How are you? Glad you're here. And love that you love the box. Yeah, I was telling I was telling them I had a hard I have a hard time picking um, the holiday kits because there's so many things that I want to do. So I'm glad that this one was a hit. All right, so I'm gonna do mostly uh, white on my brush, and I did pick up just a little bit of brown, so just a tiny bit of brown, and then I'm just gonna brush that over top. So you can see there's gonna be a little bit of a, of the brown color in there. And it's just going to make it not so plain. So if you get too much brown, just go back over it with some white. So that's, But that's why you want to get a little, you know, just a little tiny bit of brown on your brush. I don't even know if you can see it, but it's just really a light, light brown color. And if you, like I said, if you get too much brown, just go back over it with the white and it'll be fine. So I do want these all to match, so I'm going to do the same thing with the edges of that pumpkin. Oh, that's a good idea. I don't know why I didn't think of wax paper. Because that's really a lot, that's really what that other paper feels like is wax paper. It's got a little bit of a slickness to it. I don't even know if I have that. Honestly, I don't know. I never use wax paper in the kitchen so I don't even know if I have any <laughs> all right so just a little bit there mostly white little brown and just go back over everywhere you did white before we'll just do the same thing there yay Jen are you painting tonight or just hanging out all right so I'm gonna do the same thing with the other white pumpkin just a little brown and I, I do take the brush and go in the same direction as the pumpkin. So I kind of do the angles, or not not angles, the curves. See how I got that super um, brown right there? I'll just go right back over it with some white and smooth that out. Y'all may have seen on the page, but I actually did a fun paint class this last month. And it, it was... Man, it was something I haven't done in so long where I just go hang out, paint for fun, something, you know, a uh, design I've never done. It was just, uh, it was so refreshing. <laughs> I know um, painting and creating and crafting, it's so good for the soul, right? And it's just relaxing for most people. But when you do it like this all the time you kind of just forget that because it becomes <clears throat> yeah it's work it is work for me so i needed that reminder of why i love art <laughs> so now i decided i'm going to do some paint classes more often all right so i'm gonna get this little little piece right here and you don't have to do this if you want. I just like to put different colors into my pumpkins. I like the brown and the and the whites and the ivories together. You could even brush in some um, orange on the white if you want to. I like, sometimes I like to put orange on the white. All good, glad you made it. Hey, Aaliyah, how are you? Just watching tonight. I was saying this is a this is a lot of painting so this is a pretty big piece when you get it all together so we're just working on the insert tonight I'm going to show you how to do the wagon um, but I don't think we'll be able we might be on here forever if we try to do the whole thing so we're gonna do the leaves and the pumpkins first and then kind of go over the rest of it 
Okay, so now I'm going to do that second coat of the orange. So I started with the uh, just the plain base. Um, yes, so in your box was the wheelbarrow with the pumpkin insert, which is actually meant to be interchangeable. And I was saying, hopefully, I am able to keep up with all these interchangeables I keep giving y'all. Um, and then, where is it? Oh, and then you have this this little leaf with one of my favorite verses here. And it actually, you have three leaves. One has the verse. So what you want to do is just glue the three layers together, and then you should be able to set it set it up because it'll be thick. So those three layers of leaves, just you glue them on top of each other, and then you can kind of sit that verse on your counter or whatever. It'll sit upright. So you can paint it if you want. Um, I would suggest if you paint it to use the makeup sponge because because of all the words you don't want to fill them with with paint. Um, and you could tie a little bow or a, you know twine around it. Just dress it up a little bit or leave it the way it is. Whatever you want to do. All right. So I still have some of that dark orange on my brush. I'm going to dip right into this light orange and. Then I'm going to go over, so I didn't rinse it out, and what that is just giving a little bit of that streak of the of the redder pumpkin. So, see, now we have some variation here in this pumpkin, which is what I was going for. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the, the middle part. And you could actually dip it in like red if you wanted, or yellow, and do some dry brushing on there. Um, if you get it too dark just go back over it with that light orange just like that and you could also brush some white into it which I may go back and do here in a few minutes but see now it's not just a plain orange pumpkin it has a little bit of that variation there all right and then I'm gonna work on this middle one and I think I will pick up some white for this one let me get a little bit more All right, so the middle pumpkin, I had a little bit of red added into it. So again, it you don't have to match these colors exactly on your second coat. It's going to um, work itself out. So we're not painting just, you know, single color pumpkins. We want them to have variation and different streaks of color. So just get close and don't worry about that, the rest. Um, I'm going to pick up just a tiny bit of white, kind of like we did with the brown on the white pumpkin. And then I'm going to, I am turning my brush sideways and just kind of brushing that on there. I mean, you could, um, you could dry, like I said, you could dry brush some brown or you could dry brush some yellow into it. Um, straight red would be good. And then we have our darkest pumpkin over here. So I might pick up actually a little bit of brown with this one. Do y'all like the white pumpkins better or the orange ones? I can't ever decide. I love going, I love the white pumpkins sometimes. Sometimes I like the orange ones. <clears throat> yeah, I got your fall decor out yet? Anybody started decorating? I noticed that the mums were <clears throat> on sale already and I thought, if I get them now, they will be dead before we, really before we even hit fall. I am terrible about keeping mums alive. I'm the worst. So I guess I'll hold off on that. So a little brown, a little white. Just play with your colors when you're painting pumpkins and until you get it the way you want it. That's what I do. I usually just layer colors and layer colors. Alright. I 
think it's going the way I want it. I'm not sure it's coming across in the camera, but. <laughs> yeah, if moms could water themselves, that might keep them alive longer than a week. I am terrible at that. Oh yeah, what is your what are your temperatures like out there in Cali? Like I said, over here we've had a pretty nice week. I mean, it's been decent with cool mornings and um, evenings and. Then it's supposed to jump back in the 90s next week. I think um, <laughs> like we do that Christmas in July, and then I'm in I'm in holiday season from July all the way until Christmas is over. And then by that time, I won't be able. I'll be so excited about getting spring colors back out. But right now, I mean that that holiday love lasts for quite a while. <laughs> Oh, well, girl, yeah, better weather than we do. It's it's fall there. <laughs> I guess you got that. You probably have that most of the, the year in the summer, right? That's just normal for you, isn't it? That's when we know fall is starting to kick in is when we get them 70 degree days. All right, I'm going to let this dry. And then I'll work on it some more. Let's go to our leaves here. All right, so for the leaves, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get yellow now onto my plate, my cardboard plate. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, I like the, the four seasons here, but I don't like the super, super hot days or the really, really cold weather. If I could just keep it between like 55, maybe 60 and 80 all year, I think I would, I would give up my four seasons for that. <laughs> All right, so for these leaves, we want to create variation in those two. So I'm going to do that with yellow, red, and orange. You could also um, do that with a little bit of green if you wanted to. If you have that at home and want to add some green, you could definitely do that. So I'm just going to get a brush and I'm going to start rotating these colors. So I'm going to start with orange. And I'll just paint part of the leaf orange. And then I'll kind of go back and add yellow. So this is what gives it variation. Just kind of rotate your colors, like yellow, orange. You can kind of blend them where they meet. And then you're gonna get, you know, some shading um, from your brush, the different, where the two different colors meet. And then you can switch back to orange. So you could do like yellow and orange on one and then do red and orange on another. And we just don't want them to look all alike since they are going to be pretty close together on your wheel on your wheelbarrow. So there's see it's not all one shade. It's a little bit of variation. And then if you want to use green, I would let that dry and then go back over it with a little bit of green around the edges. Um, I don't think we put that in your box, so. Oh, you miss rain. Yeah, I, I could see that living out there. Um, we see it so much, I don't feel like I would ever miss it. <laughs> but I, I could see where you would miss the rain out there. It rained here a lot recently, and I, I really don't mind the rain unless I have to drive. And then I, I just don't like driving in the rain. But I don't mind, you know, I like watching it. I like thunder, hearing thunderstorms as long as I'm inside. I don't want to be out in the weather in a car. Which I think I told y'all before. Because we went on that vacation one time and it, oh, it rained so much. But there was a rainbow like every few minutes. It was amazing. So here I'm just rotating orange and red. So you can see it gives it a little bit of a different look. Which is what we want.
Oh, I didn't tell you all the big news. We have a new member of our family, I guess. I am so against this, but um, my daughter is turning 18 soon and she'll be graduating in December. And she's just really wanting like her own dog. My youngest has her own dog, but my oldest does not. So she went and rescued her a little corgi. Um, it's a corgi mixed with some kind of, what is it called? I can't remember what she said it was. Oh, is it some kind of Eskimo dog? I don't know, a little bitty thing. Um, they're, I can't remember the breed. I'll have to ask her. They're white and super fluffy, but they're really small. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? I cannot think of what it is. Anyways, it, it's that, whatever that is, and it's mixed with a corgi, and she looks like a fox. Like, she's super cute, but she is way more energetic than what we're used to around here, <laughs> and she um, is pretty vocal, so she is taking some getting used to. I told my daughter if she doesn't get that dog trained soon, they're both moving out when she turns 18, so <laughs> we'll see how it goes. All right. So this one has more red and orange. Just play around with it, blend it together. Um, you could do one that was uh, all orange if you wanted. You could do white, you could do brown. So just play around with your colors. I'll go back and do brown on these stems here. I'm trying to think if anything else exciting is going on around here. The same old chaos as usual, I think. <clears throat> Still working on um, remodeling this house that we got, and it's about got the best of me. I don't think I can stand it much more. I'm really considering another move just to be done with it. You know, it's really about, I'm at the age, I guess, where if it destroys my peace, I just don't, I don't have time for it. You know, it's, I'm, I'm just too old to be stressed out all the time. So things like home remodels, <laughs> it's not um, exciting for me. And my, my well-being, my mental health, my peace of mind is very important to me at this stage of life. So I would almost rather, I think, I'm thinking that I would rather just move again than deal with anymore because it's it's one of those things where there was a lot of like hidden um things that were wrong but they were hidden so you know the more you get into it the more things have to be fixed and <sighs> it's been a nightmare has anybody ever remodeled a house before we built our last one that we ended up having to sell um even though our contract fell through, we had built that. And after we did that, I said I was never gonna build again because it was just so much work, right? But now, now I'm like, I'm never remodeling again, not ever gonna do it. So I think I just need like a, a turnkey house that's already done so I can live in my space of peace. <laughs> So that's pretty much all that's going on with us here. All right, with this one, I'm using mostly orange. Did mostly yellow on this one. And then I'll do mostly red on one too. Notice I'm not washing my brush out at all. So, I get, you know, all my remnants of the last colors are transferring to each leaf, which is a good way to get that variation. A little more red. Y'all going to set these outside? You have your um, fall porch sign, right? Did everybody finish that? Now you can put your little wagon net or your little wheelbarrow next to it. Have your whole porch done here soon, right? Be ahead of the game. All right. So I think they all look different enough. I might maybe switch these around a little bit. There we go. 
All right, like I said, you could go back and add on some green or you could do some brown, which I might do a little bit of. All right, what's left? So leaves, we have, oh, you know what, I'm, since we're not gonna do the whole wheelbarrow, what I'm gonna do is show you kind of how I did that um, color on the, on the wheelbarrow. We're gonna do it basically the same way that we did with the leaves, except we're gonna be using browns, blacks, whites, all the neutral colors to get uh, the variation in the wheelbarrow. Let me see. So see on the, the base pieces, this is mostly um, white and black with a little bit of brown brushed in. And then of course the handle and the tire are black. And then here is mostly um, white and brown with maybe a little bit of gray. So I just wanted to do, you know, I wanted these pieces to look different. So again, you're doing a lot of color mixing with this kit. In order to separate all the pieces so oh and then I meant to tell you here we did I did more brown and just a little bit of white so it's gonna be just like we did here where you're kind of mixing colors and dipping your brush in multiple colors and um, to get to get that look that you want so I'm gonna switch over to a bigger brush here and I'm going to use brown so for this I did mostly brown you could do all brown and then I just brushed in a little bit of the white. <clears throat> For the actual wheelbarrow piece, I did mostly white with a little bit of brown. So I just rotated that color combo to get the colors that are in the example. You gotta do the porch liner this weekend. I thought, I thought you did the apple. Oh, you got the boo ones. You already did the apple one though, right? I was thinking the apple ones, but I guess um, you'll have something for Halloween, right? Yeah, this, these would be really cute next to a porch liner for fall, whether it's your apples or another one. So I'm just doing the base coat of brown. I think I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll go back over it with another coat and some white. So while that's drying, we can do this. So with the um, letters here, you could do an ombre if you wanted. I really considered that doing, you know, the, the ombre, orange, red, yellow, and kind of sponge it across with the three different colors. Or um, what I ended up doing was the yellow with the orange polka dots. What do you think? What do you think would is better? I figured since we had all these colors here that it'd probably be better to do just a single color on the the words. And then of course I had to be extra and add some orange polka dots. So oh my goodness, these flies in this building are driving me crazy. I have fly traps out, but apparently they're not enticing enough. They're not as enticing as me. <laughs> Oh, that's a good idea yeah with the uh, with the apple leaners I always so I've never have a porch sign a porch leaner that's only one-sided because it's such a waste of space those um, those wood pieces are so expensive you know you should get as much out of it as possible so reversible porch leaners are always my thing so if you have your apple done um, definitely switch it over and do something on the back for fall, Thanksgiving, Christmas, whatever you want to do. You like the polka dots? Yeah, I think I'll stick with that. You could use a sponge here. I'm just using a brush because I don't think I grabbed any sponges before I sat down. So I'm running low anyways. I need to get some more. We go through a lot of makeup sponges that never touch makeup. <laughs> Alright, I did not paint the leaves, but you could go ahead and do them yellow and then just go back over them with the orange if you want to.
if you're in the other subscription boxes they they kind of all correlate this month so you should have a full set of decor if you get all of them they're different but similar themes they they got their wagon um, club it's the first box so I'm curious what you think of it Like I said, I changed my mind a million times before settling. I really, I would, you know, I know some people that have these boxes and stuff, they're months ahead on their themes and projects and stuff, but I'm, I cannot do it. Even if I planned it months ahead, I would change my mind 50 times before it actually came out. And that's just how my brain operates. I, I have to be kind of a procrastinator to get the most creativity out of my head. <laughs> Oh, yay! I'm glad you like it. Um, okay, good. I'm glad it all came together because I, like I said, I could not commit to anything. Um, yeah, if you, <laughs> if you uh, are going to get a wagon and you're going to join the club, do that first because you'll have a coupon in your first box for the wagon. Not to mention there is a free gift this month that will give, it is a gift that will... I'm not going to tell you what it is, but you will be able to s display your pieces on it. So it's not a wagon, but it's um, something to put your pieces on. So you could do this and a wagon if you wanted to. But yeah, you'll get a coupon code in the first box. So if you're going to get a wagon, um, join the club first. <laughs> you... Um, you're months behind, huh? I think that's probably a common theme. But that's all right. Eventually, you'll get caught up, right? When you do what Teresa does and just take a whole weekend and, and knock them out. Just craft all weekend. Oh, good. I'm glad you like the gift. Nice. Yeah, that reminds me. I need to do a video on that. Yeah, that's um, first month only, so y'all be the only ones that get that. Yeah, we might be a little behind on our uh, trays if you haven't got yours yet. There'll be another big batch going out Monday, but like I said, I'm a one-woman show right now. So, And that's after I added another box. I'm spinning in circles around here. Know that phrase chicken with you know running around like a chicken with your head cut off that's definitely me so all right I'm doing a second coat of brown on this because it's pretty translucent and then while it's wet I'm just gonna add a little bit of um this ivory and kind of dry brush it in you don't have to do that that's totally up to you so I'm just gonna brush that right in that's kind of how I did the whole wheelbarrow kit just with different percentages of color. Um, so on the actual wheelbarrow, I used mostly white and just a little bit of brown. And I really probably did it as a double dip. I like to call it double dip where you put, you know, your brush in both colors at the same time and then paint over it. All right, so that's done. I've painted my leaves orange here. I'm gonna brush a little bit of yellow on top of those. orange so just play around with your colors here you could do the reds again if you wanted to I think I just did orange and yellow and then for the polka dots of course you could use a paint pen if you wanted or just get a um, round brush small round brush which I thought I pulled out and I don't see it We'll try this one. All right, I'm gonna do orange polka dots just with this this small brush. Just kind of lightly dab around that. Don't think too hard about it. It's not it's not a big deal. You can't mess that up. Just quick dabs. <laughs> this is my but that song um popped in my head that yellow polka dot bikini or whatever remember that that's an old one right 
There used to be a commercial. That's what made me think of it. I think there was a commercial with that song on it. Oh, have you done months at one sitting too? Yes, yeah, so a rainy weekend. I think a lot of people get caught up in the winter when, you know, you don't want to leave the house because it's cold or you have snow day. Those are good times to get, get caught up. Or like you said, a rainy day too. That's a good day to craft. That'll be fun, Teresa. I know she's all married now, huh? Does she have as much time to, <laughs> to come craft as she used to? I love that y'all get together and do that. I wish my mom was closer. All right, so we have our little polka dots. I think everything's painted, right? I may go back. I think all I have to do is go back and add some, some little details. All right, let's do... These are all dry. I'm gonna dip in my brown paint again and I'm just gonna kinda go through these leaves and just quick, quick strokes, give them some veins. I need more brown. Oh, I forgot to paint my stems too, didn't I? Yeah, this brush ain't gonna work. Let me find my good one. I think all my little, like my um, liner brushes are packed up from my last class. I haven't unpacked them yet. So all these are a little thicker than I want them to be. Just do some quick lines down the center, a little curved. Go with the curve of the leaf. Um, we can go around and do, I kind of did some squiggly lines around here. Whoops. It's totally up to you. Just wherever you want them to go. Oops, Here's this piece right here. And I just got my whole arm in my paint. Yeah, that's good that you see her all the time, or often. That's nice. I did make a trip to my parents' house recently, which I haven't done in a really long time, but I just needed to get away, you know? I just I just wanted the company of my family, and I needed a break, and so I just went down and hung out for the first time in a long time. It was really nice. You just need a break. Speaking of which, I have my massage scheduled tomorrow. I have to get one every month, and it's really not, <clears throat> it's not a relaxing massage, it's a healing massage because I have a lot of pain from an old wreck. But I am looking forward to it. All right, and then I'm going to go back and do a little bit of. Um, some white squigglies on the orange pumpkins. Um, you could do them on the leaves too if you want. I did in the example. I don't think I'm going to today. Oops. So just wherever you want to put these things, just squiggle away. There's no right or wrong. Let's try. Paint my paint right up here. Um, if you are going to set this outside, of course, like always, make sure um, if it's going to be exposed to the elements, you want to spray it with some kind of, ooh, sorry, had to get a yawn, a yawn in. Now spray it with some kind of outdoor um, sealer, a non-yellowing outdoor sealer or poly. Yes massages are amazing so I've been going to my lady for a long time and she um, she's a former nurse 
so she's just so good at what she does i'm so thankful to have her because there is no way i'd be able to work like i do if i couldn't get straightened out <laughs> regularly all right i think we're done painting all these pieces um so you'll just want to glue these to your center here like that so you'll just glue these here and these are going to hang on your little post if you have the wagon um this is very similar to the wagon the way it hangs if not exact all right and then our little leaves you know what i totally forgot again about those stems i'm gonna go back and do those um when you glue i'm pretty sure you know this but i'll say it again make sure you use or less is more we're just gonna kind of move these around in your you can put them wherever you want but you just want to make sure that you don't have them hanging way down here because this needs to fit inside your wheelbarrow so make sure all your leaves are up here even with your pumpkin right you don't want anything hanging out right here because this is what goes down inside of your your wheelbarrow let me do these stems real quick they're gonna drive me crazy All right, I'm gonna show you how to put your wheelbarrow together as soon as I get these done. Can't see the top of these, so I hope I'm hitting the right spot here. done other than gluing so you want to glue that all together just like just like that I don't think I'm gonna glue it y'all know I have lots of these things in the D stash that aren't glued and our fall D stash is coming up so I'm going to We'll leave this loose so someone can paint it if they want to paint over it all right so this is your interchangeable insert and then this will be your interchangeable sign so let's top wagon real quick let me move these out of the way not cute I just love all the pumpkins and leaves all right, let's see. Let me find some space all right, so you want to put your wheelbarrow together, right? I'm, I think I keep calling it a wagon, but when you put this together, this is not going to be glued on here, okay? So do not do not put this anywhere near these little pegs until it's dry, or otherwise your sign will be glued on there, okay? So that I'm going to move out of the way. Now you're going to do these last. So your, and I forgot to cut a blank one. I thought I had an extra one. So hopefully you can see what I'm talking about here. But you're gonna start with this main big piece. This one right here that has the, the wheel connected to the wagon, this piece right here. This is first, okay? Then you're gonna take the um, this long arm like piece here and this is gonna go on the back of your wheelbarrow. So line up this small round edge with the round edge of this main piece and then you're going to glue that onto the back okay once that dries then you're going to flip it over you have your handle here it's in a second piece okay so you've glued the back piece onto the main um, wheelbarrow so now you can glue down your handle right here before you put this top on make sure your your handle is glued and then this little 3d piece here you can glue your tire on when you glue your tire 
you want to make sure that you don't have it covering this little part right here that fits in the stand okay so don't put your your tire all the way down to the bottom of this wood you want to put it you want to line up this round edge here and make sure you have this um open for the stand to fit on all right, and then once you have everything else glued, then you can put this big top piece on and just glue around the edges of that, okay? So you will have, you, you have to be able to see this opening here, okay? I have a mess of an edge, but you have to be able to see this opening. So, you know, make sure that you're gluing that right with the smaller arm piece on the back and the big wheelbarrow piece on the front and that will leave you enough opening for your pumpkins. Now, um, another reminder, and if you've done some of our other kits, you probably already know this, but you won't need to paint this back piece here. You don't need to paint that top that's gonna be covered, right? Because when you get paint inside of these openings, that changes the dimensions. It's gonna make a tight fit for your interchangeables. So don't paint the, what's covered, right? What goes on the inside does not need to be painted. Um, same thing, that's why I didn't paint the bottom of the interchangeable, is because this will give you um, a super tight fit. Now, I was gonna go right around these edges and do brown right here at the top, just because you can kind of see that, but don't paint the whole thing, because it'll be too tight to go into your wheelbarrow. If you have, or you do, um, just try sanding it down some until it slides right inside of your wheelbarrow. You're not going to glue this insert. Neither one of these pieces will be glued to your wheelbarrow or you won't be able to switch them out for other decor. Okay. Um, once the whole wagon's done, then take your little pegs. You're going to, you're going to glue the long side of the peg into the opening. So just put a little glue hold it in there you may want to use super glue or hot glue instead of e6000 um, because that takes longer to dry and you want this to kind of dry pretty fast oh one more thing I don't think I don't think these pegs will go yes they will <laughs> I'm glad I remembered to tell you this so listen you may want to put your insert in before you put those pegs in because otherwise these pegs will go all the way to the back of the wood and you're not going to be able to put your insert down in there because they'll be glued so what you want to do is kind of put that in there and then glue your peg and hold it until it dries there because you don't want that to go in all the way and block your insert from going does that make sense i don't know if i'm making sense but you want, the, you want the long part of these pegs in the hole, but not all the way through. You need to glue them at the, you know, the top side to keep it from blocking that insert when it goes in. So again, if you wanna put it in first and then glue them, that's fine. Just don't glue them to your insert. And then that will slide right in and your sign, once it's dry, you'll just flip that over just like that. Put your, um, pumpkins right in there see what I mean about being able to see that all right and that's it and then if you need to glue it into your stand you can and um, it might just stand on its own without you gluing it but there's two pieces here they double up for more stability um, and then you just slide them right into these two bottom pieces of that wheelbarrow if you're putting it outside make sure to spray it and other than that we are done with the wheelbarrow. I love it. Isn't it so cute? I'm gonna have to get on top of all these interchangeables we have going on. I do have a fall set for your key holders from a couple months ago. I just need to get it painted. I'm gonna have to start hiring out some painting um, because I just can't get to all of it. All right, so there's that. I already told you about your um, wood verse. You can stack those on top of each other and then sit them up because it'll be thick enough to kind of sit on its edge. Can you shoe the back of a wheelbarrow that is not glued yet? Can you shoe the back of a wheelbarrow? Um, oh, show the back of a wheelbarrow that's not glued yet. Um, that's what I was saying. I thought I had an extra one and then I couldn't find it. I didn't check in time to cut one. Um, let's see. I wonder if 
Does anybody, do y'all have, I guess if y'all have one that's not cut, maybe can you post a picture real quick and shower? Cause this is, this one is already glued. So I think this will help. Just take the biggest piece of your wheelbarrow with the um, tire and flip it upside down, okay? So flip it upside down so that it's, you know, just flat on this side. And then you're gonna take this arm here and line up this angled part with that side of your wheelbarrow and glue that down. So that's the first step is these two pieces. And it's upside down so that, so this is on the back. If someone wants to post a picture, that would be helpful. I can cut one, but it will, you know, it'll take a while to get one cut. So I can't do it right away. Um, and then once these two pieces are glued, then you'll flip it over and you'll lay your, this piece of your handle, you'll line that right up with the, the edge of the wheelbarrow. And then you'll glue the big strip on top of that. We'll, we'll get you, we'll get you, um, I know, visual. It's a lot easier with the visual, I'm sorry. But yeah, we'll get one in there for you so you can see it. All right, so there it is all together. Um, coasters, we haven't talked about those yet. So for these, you have these little sticky um, cork pieces. What you wanna do is use these to, to cut out your paper. Um, so if you take your paper and you lay your coaster down and trace around your coaster, you're gonna have a really big round piece. This is just smaller, you know, just small enough to fit inside of that round. So what I would do is use the cork piece to lay on your paper and then you're going to cut Hold on, let me find a paper. Mm -hmm. Let me grab one real quick. So take this little cork piece here. <laughs> My pencil is, um, has no tip. <laughs> Oops, here's one. All right, and then just trace around just like that. So that'll give you that perfect size that you need for your coaster. And then just cut that out, right? And if you wanna trace it on the, on the underside, then you won't have that lead pencil mark like I have. I usually flip them upside down to do that. And then you'll just cut that out. These are really dusty. They have that ceramic dust on them. So just kind of wipe that off, make sure it's clean. Um, you'll take your paper after you cut it out. Has anyone done these yet? I feel like I'm talking a lot. <laughs> All right. I'll go ahead and cut this out. Probably a lot of you have worked with Mod Podge before, right? Mod Podge and paper. You'll just do this twice since you have two of them. All right, and then you'll take your Mod Podge and you'll spread it all over your um, coaster. And then you'll just center that right on top of the Mod Podge. And then you'll take your brush again with another layer and brush it on top of the paper and so then you'll have your coaster. And um, what I do is take a, like a waterproof um, spray. I think I use Cry, that Krylon, Krylon, is that what it's called? I have to look, I have like 18,000 different sprays. Um, but just spray over it. After everything's dry, just take that spray sealer and spray over top of it. And then your water ring shouldn't mess it up um, once you have a sealer over it. Uh, but anyways, just take that little piece off that coaster, put it on the bottom, and there you go. You'll have two fall coasters for your table. Any questions? I think we've got everything covered, right? All right.
let's do devotional and then I'll draw a number. Um, I'm still working on this this book. She's a comedian on social media. She's super funny. I don't know if anybody heard of her before. <laughs> oh, good, Barbie. So glad. So glad you love this box. Um, oh, and how funny. I just flipped this open, y'all. I, I just flipped this open. I have not read it. I haven't looked at it today. And look, it's our verse of the day. It's our verse right here. God thing, right? <laughs> That's kind of crazy. All right, so it's titled Waiting on Him. It must be meant for um, this particular evening. So, for everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. Ecclesiastes 3.1 When you want something, you want it now. It's hard to be patient, but sometimes you feel like things are moving at a snail's pace, and that drives you a little crazy. I don't know about you, but it drives me a lot crazy. So, I'm dealing with a lot of this right now um, with the reno and everything that we have going on. If only you had God's perspective and could see the way he does. Everything moves according to his timetable and that's for your safety. Consider this, the slow and steady persistence of a flower allows it to sprout through a crack in a concrete sidewalk, keeping every one of its petals in place. Time works in its favor. The same is true with you. You don't have to move at the pace of everyone else. Rely on God's timing. Sometimes we need to be still and listen, and that is why God makes us wait. Sometimes I feel like that flower sprouting through a crack in the sidewalk, Lord. You're slowing things down for my protection and my growth. I submit myself to the process. Amen. Boy, if that one is slap in the face, if y'all knew what my week has been like, you I mean, I think you would be shocked by me flipping straight to this um, devotional. That's really crazy. I guess, I guess for me, I don't know. I've had, um, I guess I'll share a little health scare lately, <clears throat> but I was having some problems and I had to get a routine, um, or a screening done that I wasn't actually old enough for, right? So I had to pay a ton of money to get this screening done because I wasn't at the age yet where it's covered. Um, but I was having some unrelated issues and then they found some precancerous, uh, gross that had to be removed and it really freaked me out. So I, you know, I hear all this about waiting and being still and y'all know I have that sign by my bed and, you know, I, I try to remember all that. But it's like, it, you know, time is one thing to me that, that we can't take for granted that we don't, you know, we aren't promised. And so I really struggle with whether, you know, I feel like I need to get everything done. Like I had to do everything I want to do. Life is short. You know, I need to, to do this and this and this. And Man, my timetable is so different than the reality of <laughs> his plan and I really struggle with that I'm not gonna lie that's a struggle for me so I don't know maybe one day I'll, I'll find that balance where I can you know kind of go slow be still and enjoy day by day and not feel rushed to do everything I want to do in one lifetime you know what I mean that was really good. I cannot believe I flipped that open and it was the exact verse from our box. All right. And then what? Number. Let me grab the numbers. Let me number them. Let's see. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, is the winner of the gift card this month so check your inserts see if you're number 36 and actually no one claimed last month so i'm going to draw a second number tonight let's go ahead and get a second winner since we didn't have one last month let me try to find one at the bottom 28 so number 28 and 36 we have two gift cards this month because we did not have anyone come up last month 34 oh you were close <laughs> only two off all right so we need two winners so 28 36 i'll um, post about it in the group and hopefully we find some people for this month so all right Oh, thank you, Barbie. I appreciate it. I need lots of prayers. <laughs> this, this whole year has really worn me out. Oh, you have 30. So we got lots of close ones. You're kind of like right in the middle. Oh, we have 28. Woohoo! 
Woo! Yay, we have a winner. Congrats, Alita. We'll get that sent to your email um, ASAP. All right, so we have one winner down. We need one more. So 36 is still open. Thank you, Teresa. Hey, I appreciate all y'all coming tonight. I This is my favorite night of the month, my favorite day of the month. So um, hopefully y'all have fun. I can't wait to see all of your projects. So make sure to post them. Otherwise, y'all have a, a good Friday and enjoy your weekend. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.